Hi, welcome back to Drupal Fever. Here we are on the second step of our three-part PuTTY final guide. On this second step, we will configure PuTTY with SSL so you won't need to type a password when logging on to your web server. It may not sound like much, but when you have to log in to your web server on a daily basis, typing your password can get old pretty fast. So let's get going. We begin by going to the Start button, opening the PuTTY folder and clicking on PuTTY Gen. Now that PuTTY Key Generator is open, click on Generate. Now you move your mouse on this empty space here in a random fashion because this application uses your mouse movement as a way to randomize the key that it's generating for your computer. That's it. The public and private keys have been generated. And here on the key comment field, you have to type something that will help you remember to what computer this key belongs to. In my case, I will put my username here at Windows-7 making a reference to my Windows 7 computer. Now you click on the Save Private Key button. This warning is saying that we didn't set up a password for our private key. Now, if we set up a password for our private key, then every time we accessed our server, we would have to type a password, not for the server, but for the private key. That would defeat the whole purpose of accessing our server without typing a password. So we are leaving our private key without a password. We just click on the yes button. Now let's go to the C drive, to the users folder, and to your own user folder. And there you will create a new folder. Let's call this folder key files. Now let's open it. Now you should type id underscore rsa dot ppk as the name of our file. Now click on the Save button. So now let's open PuTTY. Now let's load the profile that we created on our last video that is still prompting you for a password. Now let's type the password. Now let's go back to PuTTY Key Generator and copy the public key. Let's list all the files. We need to go to the .ssh folder cd.ssh. Now let's list the content of this folder. Currently, this folder is empty. Now we need to create a file with vi. We'll call this file authorized underscore keys. Now we'll press i to get to insert mode. Now we paste the public key that we just copied from PuTTY key generator. Now to save our chains, we need to press Escape, column, W, Q, and press Enter. Now let's list the content of the folder. There is our file. Now goes one of the most important steps of this whole process. We need to change the permissions of the authorized underscore keys file. If we skip this step, the authorization will simply not work. We're going to use a Linux tool called Shmod and we're going to change the permissions for the authorized keys file to 600. Now let's list the content again. And now, as you can see, the file originally had a permission of 664 and now it has a permission of 600. Now let's go back to the parent folder. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up the folder .ssh already existed on my home folder. But if your web server's home folder doesn't have this folder .ssh and you had to create it, you'll have to remember to also change the permissions on this folder to 600. Otherwise, the authentication process will not work either. So let's exit the terminal and let's go back to the start button. And now we need to open the startup folder. We're going to create a shortcut here. It will be a shortcut to our private key file. 
which is supposed to be on the users, my own user, and key files folder, which is the file id underscore rsa ppk that we previously saved. Click next, and let's put the name as pageant finished. Now, every time Windows starts up, it will open this shortcut that will open our private key with an application called Pageant. That's the little computer with a hat there. And if you double click the Pageant icon, you see that our private key is loaded. Now you can close it, but it will remain there on the notification area. Now let's close Windows Explorer and reopen PuTTY. And now let's open our profile again. This time around, Putty Agent supplied the public key to our web server, which authenticated us. And now you're logged in. Let's exit and we're done. Please subscribe to be notified of upcoming videos. This is Elias Barbosa. Thanks for watching.